So this is the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, and on a surface level, it may seem identical to last year's Xperia 1 Mark IV, but internally, it's got a huge upgrade. The sensor behind the 24mm camera is rocking the newest CMOS image sensor with two-layer transitor pixel technology, and what that means is that we get insane low-light performance out of a smartphone. The first layer maximizes the amount of light, and the second layer minimizes the amount of noise. Here, let me show you. This is literally what my eyes can see in this scene right here, and this, this is what the Xperia 1 Mark V can capture. Literal details in the darkness. Just look at the ridges of the temple, look at the incredible noise handling in the shadow, and combined with the improved computational photography, we get this amazingly balanced photo with the highlights of Tokyo Tower in the background properly exposed with just a push of a button. No, seriously, just a push of a button. All the visuals that I've been showing to you right now are straight out of camera. I didn't do any editing. I didn't have to go into manual mode. All standard basic mode, baby. The new sensor behind a 24 millimeter camera is about 1.7 times larger in comparison to the previous model. Not quite as big as the one inch sensor that we saw on the Xperia Pro I, but the advancement of this gen sensor puts it on par. Bigger sensor means it can capture more dynamic range, offering better bounce to your overall photo, especially in harsh lighting conditions. Now, while the other camera arrays don't have that bigger sensor, the improved computational aspect does elevate their results as well. And I, for one, am glad that Sony is still pursuing the 85 to 125 millimeter lens. The entire range of this zoom is all optical, meaning it's all glass, not digital. And it's been vital to a lot of the travel imagery that we've captured. If you saw our Swiss travel series last week, nearly half the images that we shared on that video were taken with Xperia. The telephoto aspect of this device is just too good. Moving on to the video side of things, we have Escitatone. Escitatone on this little guy right here. Basically, it's a picture profile that exists in these higher end alpha mirrorless cameras that produces cinematic colors. And in the alpha community, we go crazy for it. And now mobile creators get to experience that joy as well. And what also got ported over from their alpha cameras are a series of creative looks if you don't want to use Escitatone. However, the next thing that I'm more impressed with is the stabilization. We now have a third option, high stabilization. And it just feels like I'm gliding with this camera. This is just me walking with my own pair of legs, no gimbal this time, and I'm literally just floating. I'm floating right here. And yes, it does crop into your footage when you use high stabilization, but it's a small price to pay for smoother shots. High stabilization is available in 24, 25, and 30 frames per second, while standard stabilization is available in 60 frames per second. 4K 120p still doesn't have stabilization, but if you're gonna be slowing down your footage anyways, you really don't need that stabilization. And why yes, 4K 120p exists on all the lenses. Oh, and both Photo Pro and Video Pro UI now supports vertical orientation. Neat. The Xperia 1 Mark V pre-order starts today at approximately $1,399 US dollars, and it will be sold unlock in black across the US. There's also an exclusive khaki green version on their website, apparently. And if you pre-order, it will also come with a pair of Sony Link Buds. But man, I'm just thinking about that low light photo. And that's been my first impressions of the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. We can't wait to take it out into the world with us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.